Hey guys, it's your girl Alexis Tony X. Oh, how are you guys doing today? It is Shop My Stash Saturday. So, happy Saturday, guys. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, so, let's go ahead and just jump into it. We're going to start with our reviews. I like to review the products that I played with over the week and give you kind of my thoughts and opinions. Um, I want to go ahead and start with the foundations that I been using for the week um the one that i used the most was the elf camo cc cream um this has an spf of 30 you guys know like i love this one i feel like people either love it or they hate it and i this is one of my top foundations like this one if i could only keep like 10 foundations this would definitely be one of my keepers. I just really, really love it. Um, it has really good coverage and everything. And I just, I don't know. I just love it. Now, I do have a trick to make it not, if you don't want it super, 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 super full coverage, which I feel like is most of the complaint. So, what I personally like to do is add some, like, uh, face serum in my um i'll put a couple of drops maybe one or two drops of foundation on the back of my hand and then i'll put a drop or two of this youth to the people this is the super berry hydrate plus glow dream oil and this is an amazing facial oil i have combo oily skin and it just i use it in a lot of more um full coverage foundations i'll add this and it just really blends out um, nicely. Like it really uh, smooths out the foundation. So that's what I use it for. If you have dry skin, you might want to use it, you know, other ways. But that's the way I personally like to use mine. And for the foundation color, I'm in light um, 240W. So, and that is exactly the two combos I'm actually wearing today. And I love, love love my makeup today so and this right here is like my go-to like if i don't know what foundation to wear like for date night or whatever this is my go-to so i really really do enjoy this so just putting that out there the other one i tried out this is a new foundation for me it's not new on the market but it's the flower get real this is a very liquidy serum foundation from like flower beauty i don't know if it's still called flower beauty but um flower so i got the color what color did i get uh yeah i got the new color so i'm actually going to the high doctor next week thank goodness because even wearing my glasses i can't see especially like print like that like i just can't even see like wearing my glasses I'm sure you're like, well, put your glasses on. No, I can't. I just can't see anymore. So, the older I get, the less I can see. So, but yeah, this is nude. It's super liquidy. I think I showed you guys, like, it'll, like, just run down my hand. It's very, very liquidy. Just a serum foundation. I don't know how I feel about this. The first time I tried it, I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. So, this is like an okay thing for me. Um, I'll just have to try it out some more to give you uh, an opinion. Right now, I just, I feel like it's an okay product. Like I said, it's not something that would be like top drawer, like a top pick for me. Um, but, you know, everybody has different preferences of what they like. Like, like I said, this is definitely a top pick for me. If I don't know what foundation to wear... I know this right here is going to look amazing on my skin. So, I will go with this. These two, like, duo things. But, this right here, I'm still testing out. It's very, if you like that sheer, lightweight, serum type foundation, then you will probably love it. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea serum, that really serum -y foundation that's what it kind of reminds me of i know heather loves that one so heather if you're watching maybe you've tried this let us know what you think um and i know heather has more normal to dry skin so let us know heather if you've tried this but um for me it's not my favorite but like i said i'm still testing it 
a new product I've been testing out this week and I don't know how I feel about it. Okay, so I got the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder. Very reflective, but this is what it looks like out of the package. And I picked up O2. O2. No, N2. Sorry. N2. I guess neutral too. So this is what it looks like. And, you know, I hear a lot of people saying that this is their new Holy Grail powder, tried and true powder. I don't know how I feel about it, guys. I just, for me, it didn't wow me. Like, I keep seeing all these people say, like, oh my gosh, it's just like the most amazing powder ever. I have large pores. I, I like pretty much the same type of base products as Bab Beauty for Babs Beauty, for instance. She has large pores. That's her big complaint. That's my complaint. We both have combo skin. That's my complaint. So, um, I like a very smoothing powder, and I also prefer loose powders over pressed powders because I just feel like they really cam camouflage the pores. Um, and that's what I look for in a powder is something that's going to blur my pores. I just didn't feel like this blurred my pores. So I was super surprised. I feel like I need to play with it some more. Um, I did try it out a few times this week and I just did not see the blurring effect that I heard a lot of people talking about. So for me, this is an okay product. Nothing that I want to like recommend or anything. So wanted to say that. Alright, so a Dior product I do love and would recommend is this one right here, which I used this week. This is a highlighter. My favorite um, powder highlight. It's one of my three, I would say. I have three powder highlights that I'm obsessed with, and this is definitely the top three. And then I also have, of course, you guys know I really love the Charlotte Tilbury. This is like uh, one of my new faves. So, it's not new, but it's one of my new faves. But this one right here, I just just love the way it looks on my skin personally. It just, it's not too much, but I'm actually wearing it today on the cheeks. I don't know if you can tell, but... I just really love it. I don't know. I think it's perfect for daytime or, you know, at night. But I love it. This one is not the first one. This one's the second one. So it's called uh, 002 Glitch. If you're interested, try to get it while it's on sale. Dior is a little pricey. So, and I actually love these three products. So, I really love, I really like when I find new products that I'm excited about. Alright, so this right here, new products to me, let me clarify. Some of these may not be new new, but they are new to me. So this is the Ulta Beauty Brow Tint. And I got the color blonde. Looks like this. And the wand is super, like tiny. You can see that. Super tiny and defined. I, oh my gosh, this gives your brows, I'm wearing it today, it gives your brows so much volume and just feels all the sparseness. Like, when I tried this, I was like, wow, where have you been all my life? I got the color blonde, like I said, and I even got a, I bought a backup because I was like, what if I love it? This is only 10 dollars okay ten dollars at Ulta I saw Risa does makeup talk about this and I feel like me and her have a lot of things in common we're around the same age um she has you know more oily combo skin like myself um we have pores and you know her brows are kind of like mine too kind of very light and sparse and she said that this was like an amazing brow product so i was like okay well let me try it 
because I don't always love everything she recommends but I was like okay let me try it and I tried it and I was like oh my goodness I have to tell my peeps about this if they hadn't heard about it because it's only ten dollars at Ulta and it is probably one of the best brow products that I've ever tried and that is saying a lot because you guys know how much I buy makeup like I buy, I buy a lot of makeup if you could see my collection I buy a lot okay so this I had to give a little shout out to it's really good so love this been enjoying it another new product I'm really excited about oh my goodness oh my goodness now I don't know how to pronounce this I want to say it's Colts c-o-t-z but I'm horrible at pronouncing things so I'm sorry if I said this wrong but never heard of this brand before but I was at Ulta and they were having a buy one get one 40% off sale and like I said I'm going to the beach and I've been noticed noticing lately that I have like I'm getting like sunspots or age spots I don't even know maybe they're age spots maybe they're sunspots I'm really bad about applying sunscreen I always forget so I'm pretty sure they're sunspots so I have a couple like right here and I'm like you know what and then I have like a couple on my chest I'm like I've got to start being more like obsessed with with uh, sunscreen and so I saw this brand and I was super curious because this particular one right here I'll show you guys in a minute I'm actually wearing it today as a freaking pore filler primer like has has my dream come true like there's a SPF of 40 okay sunscreen that is a facial primer and it fills in your pores what are you freaking kidding me so I I'm still happy with this product so I'm wearing it today like I said as a primer as a pore filler primer and this was on sale like I was so excited like, I found an amazing product so this is what it looks like okay so it has a color to it but it has the feel of kind of like the professional it's got that kind of silicone type feel um it's not like the Smashbox because I don't like that I don't like that one at all it's more like the like I said the benefit for professional one it's I don't know it but it really 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 filled in my pores like they just look really small right now and it just kind of blurred them and I was like what is this magic voodoo um I don't know what it is but this is amazing it might be my new favorite thing on earth besides the brow thing I think these are probably my new two favorite things on earth like but this right here like does so much I had to share it with you guys it's like I don't know like if you if you get this let me know how amazing you think it is because I'm telling you you will thank me for that you will thank me for this because this is amazing another new product I picked up from Colourpop um you guys know Colourpop is sold at Ulta now maybe you do maybe you don't and they were having a deal where if you spent 20 bucks you got a free bag so I spent 20 bucks obviously and I tried this blush this blush is in the color too hot it's like this it looks like a freaking hot fuchsia pink i'm actually wearing it today so if you're freaking out about it it actually blends really really nice and creamy and i even put it over powder and i didn't have any problem whatsoever it didn't disturb my makeup it didn't peel it didn't do anything funky um it just really i used um my favorite elf brush which is this one right here and I just dabbed it like this and then I just tapped it on my cheeks so 
This right here is another great find. So like I said, I found three new amazing products that I really, really like. Um, I don't remember how much this was, but I'll try to link it if I can. But it just like, look at the back of my hand. It just blends, just blends out. So don't be scared of the color. But you guys know I like pink. But I have it on my cheeks and it's not too crazy or anything like that. It's not clown-like. Just really creamy. It's a nice cheek product. And I thought it was nice. So wanted to share that with you guys as well. Um, is the Lancome um, Idol Mascara. And I wasn't obsessed with it at first. So that's why I didn't really talk about it. Um, the wand I was a little skeptical about. It's that plastic wand that's curved. And I'm just usually not a big fan of these. But I used it, of course, with my Lancome primer. And wow. <laughs> I'm not wearing it today. But when I use this, it just, wow. It was really black, thick. It made them very full, but long. It just looked really really nice it looked like false lashes so and it's also supposed to be not waterproof but kind of water resistant today i'm wearing the uh milk kush mascara but i told you guys this does transfer but this one does not transfer it's supposed to be water resistant so i will be taking this one to the beach when i go to the beach i'm excited um, I really love this mascara. I feel like it makes me look like I have false lashes. So I would recommend it. Highly recommend it. It does not smudge or anything. Really good mascara. Last thing I want to talk about real quick is my lip combo today. I know some, some of you guys really love a nude lip. So I just kind of wanted to tell you what I've been loving. So the liner that I'm actually wearing today is Charlotte Tilbury's line, um, lip liner. Iconic nude. I think that's what color it is. I could be totally wrong. So, this is what it looks like. Then the lip color, the lipstick I'm wearing, is L'Oreal's Fairest Nude in 800. And it's such a pretty color. Um, this is the color that I'm wearing with it. And then I have a little bit of Buxom Gloss on top. Just a little bit, because I'm not a huge gloss person and this is the buxom gloss i don't know the color i'll try to link it for you guys but it it just says the full-on plumping lip gloss is what i have i don't like i said i'm not sure what the color is but these to me they all kind of look the same i just like to put gloss like in the center of my lip i don't put it all over but i love the way they smell they smell really good but i wanted to share this particular lip combo the um l'oreal lip color in ferris nude and the charlotte tilbury um uh, lip liner in iconic nude i think it's a really beautiful combo okay let's go ahead and shop or stash for the week i'm gonna pull this again because like i said this is like an a mirror it's a miracle product for me it's like i am so excited i found this and it's just it, i don't know it's just a it's like witchcraft i don't even know how to explain it it's just amazing so the colts the colts i guess is how you say it the face prime and protect tinted spf of 40 sheer matte mineral sunscreen facial primer is what it says on the box so i'm gonna pull this for the week again and i'm sure that i will also pull this for the week we go to the beach I think i'm gonna pull the um rare beauty foundation i really like this foundation it's a very lightweight but it gives really good coverage so i like it a lot so we're gonna pull this one and i'm in the color 180w so i will pull this for the week and i'm gonna pull my rare beauty concealer this is a really nice brightening concealer love it and also i want to pull like a full coverage concealer and i haven't used this one in a while so i think i'm going to use this one this one is the um what is it the covergirl true blend 
uh, undercover concealer and I'm in light in this one so okay so for powders I think I'm gonna pull the Dior again because I really don't know how I feel about this like I said it didn't wow me um, so I'm gonna pull it again to play around with it some more this is in N2 it's just um, supposed to be like a neutral color and it's supposed to be blurring but I didn't see any kind of blurring properties when I used it but I'm gonna pull that but I'm also gonna pull a loose powder because I personally personally love loose powders to do my makeup so I don't think I've used let's see do I want to use the elf or the Too Faced I'm trying to think of one I haven't used in a while I haven't used the Too Faced in a while or should we do elf i really like the elf one as well let's do elf okay so this is the elf halo glow setting powder and i've got the color light in this one so i'm gonna pull this just for setting all right so for highlighters i think i am going to pull this one it's pretty new this is the mario highlighter in golden it's a really beautiful highlighter i don't know if you guys have tried any of the new Mario products. Really beautiful, nice, golden, but not too gold. It's just perfect. I really like it. So I'm going to pull that one. If you guys want to see, um, I told you guys I will be doing a lot of declutters, but if you guys want to see um, a video where I pick my three top highlighters, three top foundations, three top concealers, pretty much my three top in each category let me know and I'll be happy to do that I saw Babs Beauty do that and it looked like a fun video and I was like that looks like something I would like to do so if you guys want to see that want to see all my top three in each category let me know in the comments okay guys so I did pick up the new ColourPop uh, Cabana Club eyeshadow palette it's really really pretty and I will do a look with this I'm planning on doing a look with this also got a request to do a look with this palette this is another color pop it's the high tide palette so I'll just go ahead and pull both of these color pop shadows and try to do a couple looks um, this week with the palette so I'll pull these Brilliant. I really, really, really need to declutter. Um, Alright, so this right here is pretty vulgar. It's a blush, obviously. Um, it's called Prim Vixen. Make Me Blush. It's a really fuchsia hot bubblegum pink I guess you would say I'm gonna pull that color I want to pull this one from cover effects it's in um, what is it called Mojave Mauve and it's the one where it's got like the shimmer and the matte and I got these on sale so I am gonna pull these I'm trying to move my my lights a little closer because I feel like it's dark over here hopefully that helps okay so I'm gonna pull this one and then like I said I want to pull that new ColourPop blush I picked up at the bottom down here so I'm gonna pull this ColourPop blush Ugh. I want to play around with it some more it is in this um, it's called blush stick and it's part of that, uh, what is it called? ColourPop Cabana collection. And I got the color too hot. It's the one I talked about earlier. It's just got this really cute pink stick. It does look really, 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 really fuchsia. But I'm wearing it and it just blends out really nice. So I'm going to pull that. I'm, I'm trying to use up a bunch of these before I move. But because some of these are almost like almost empty. And I'm trying to finish them. So let's pull this one. I would really like to use this one up. 
This is the Huda Beauty um, Resting Boss Setting Spray. It's just like aerosol can. And it basically keeps your makeup on all day. It does have alcohol in it. A lot of people don't like it. I'm just trying to use it up, basically. All right, so we got that. Okay, I'm going to pull this again because I really like this product. I told you guys earlier. It's the Ulta Beauty Brow Tint in Blonde. And it just has a really nice wand. It's got this really tiny wand. So I'm going to pull that. I'm just going to keep using the same uh, pencil. I'm using the Sephora pencil if you guys are wanting to know that's the one that I'm using and I think I'm gonna pull a couple of let's see I want to pull this one because I haven't used it in a while um this is from Too Faced and it's the melted chocolate what does it say melted chocolate matte eyeshadows so basically it's just a like primer but you can also use it as a shadow and very very pigmented so I'm gonna pull that all right for um, a cream contour or bronze or whatever I'm gonna use the melt makeup stick and this one is in the darker one this one is in the color blaze so it is the darker color this bronzer this is the position Physicians Formula Matte Butter Bronzer. I used this a couple weeks ago. And I told you it has a very in interesting smell to it. It smells like, like floral, but kind of suntan floral. I don't know. It's very strange. I pulled my Milani. Um, I haven't worn this one in a hot minute. This is Milani's. I think it's called I'm Bold. Let's see. Yeah, I'm Bold. It'll focus. It's Milani's um bold. Looks like this. I'll swatch. I'll swatch everything for you as far as their lips. So it is basically like a strawberry red, I guess, like a pinky red. This one is by Physicians Formula. Um, and this one is called, it's like, the name's like Tulip or something like that. Um, it doesn't have a name on the packaging, but it's something like Tulip. It's a really beautiful, fun color. It smells, it doesn't really have a smell actually. And it's just a really beautiful, kind of like coral red color. Just fun for this for the summer I really love bright lips for the summer you guys know that like I really love them and I've been missing wearing my fun colors lately I've been doing a lot of nudes and I'm like you, you know what I think this is the week I need to pull some brights all right so this is in Phoenix you guys know this is like my all-time favorite red it is a bright red it's beautiful it's called Phoenix and it's by persona I'll swatch it for you guys. It's so pretty. And this one smells delicious. This is like, I love the way this smells. So, there's the three brights I'm going to pull. Very fun colors. I am on my phone. I'm about to scroll and pick a winner for this bag. This is Jonathan Adler bag. Uh, I'm not familiar with it, but that's what the tag says. Um, so that's what this bag is. I showed you guys last week what you'll be getting in it. So I'm just going to scroll through my phone and pick a random winner. The winner is Angela DeSilvia. So Angela, all you have to do is message me, um, either through email or Instagram and give me your address. And she says, yay, always happy to watch your shop mustache videos and yes, to watching your makeup drawer declutters so i do plan on doing a lot of makeup declutter videos they will be coming soon so thank you angela and this bag uh with the goodies will be coming to you soon okay guys so this week this is what i'm giving away this really cute clear 
makeup bag. It has a zipper. It's clear. It's really adorable. And I'm giving away all full-size products. Basically, there's one uh, sample in here. It's the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I've never tried it. So you will get that sample. You will get a full size of the Flower Beauty. This is new. I think I saw Tati review it. I'm not sure what the review was because I don't watch Tati. But she pops up on my feed every now and then. Um, this is the Gel Crush Lip and Cheek. I guess it's like a uh, cream uh, stick product by Flower Beauty. You will get a full size of that. You will also get the elf putty blush this one's in bora bora you will get the lancome you guys know this is like my all-time favorite primer and i use it every time i do my mascara if i'm not wearing lashes so this is the lancome um booster xl primer you'll be getting a deluxe or mini size or whatever you want to call it looks like this so you'll be getting that as well. Also, this right here is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio 24 Hour. Um, what is this? This is a brush. It's got a brush and a uh, pomade in it. I do like this product. I have it myself. I think I have blonde. And this shade is Soft Brown 374. So you'll be getting that. You will also be getting the um, KKW Beauty Body Brush. This is really great for putting on self-tanner or any type of glow shimmer, glow bronzer, any type of stuff like that. It's a body brush. Full size. This is like a $30 product right here. So you'll be getting that. You'll also be getting a... Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. This is one of the coffee lipsticks. You'll be getting a Wet n Wild Color Icon eyeshadow palette. And again, um, the Laura Mercier sample with the clear makeup bag. So if you're interested in this, all you have to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel. Make sure to leave a comment, hashtag shop my stash giveaway, and be US only, and I will scroll down next week and pick a winner i will be out of town but i will pre-film my shop my stash for you guys so you will have a shop my stash on saturday and like i said kimber if you're watching your package is on its way you should be getting pretty soon um and yeah look for some declutter videos and if you have any other requests for videos leave them in the comments hope everybody has a fabulous week and i will see you guys next time